Hi boys and girls, I'm back, part two of day five, okay? Because there's something that, a couple of things that I would like you to do. Um, the first thing is that I'm going to tell you a math story and I would like you to imagine it inside your mind and then we're gonna do it out on paper. So you are gonna need paper and pencil for this next task. I'm also gonna have you write some letters at the end. So we're gonna do a couple of things. What I need for you to do is pause the video, get some paper and a pencil, and then come back. All right, and we are gonna start with this story. We are going to do some imagining today. I'm going to tell you a story. I want you to close your eyes and think about the picture in your mind. I will let you draw the picture on your piece of paper, okay? Ready? Five kittens were playing in the yard. Two more kittens came over to join their game. How many kittens are in the yard now? Just like I do at school, I read it twice, so I'm going to read it again. Five kittens were playing in the yard. Two more kittens came over to join their game. How many kittens are in the yard now? Okay. Who are the characters in the story? Who is the story about? Or what's the story about? Kittens. You're right. It is about kittens. Now, when we first started the story, how many kittens were in the yard? And then how many kittens joined in? So what I need you to do right now is I need you to just show your work on a piece of paper. Okay? Good problem solvers draw the picture, make a number sentence, and a number bond. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna share my work with you, okay? So pause the video and work on that number story, okay? And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, boys and girls. Five kittens were playing in the yard, okay? And I drew circles. Because good problem solvers, we're trying to solve the problem. This is not art class, we're not making whiskers, we're not making ears, we're just making circles. I know in the last one I did, I, I made presents, but part of the problem was the stripes and the dots on the presents, okay? So I did have to add some details to those pictures. However, this one and for most of the number stories, parents, if you're listening, we just make circles to solve the problem, okay? So I know it says kittens, but we're just gonna make circles, okay? So there were five circles. There were five kittens, and they were playing in the yard. And two more joined in. So I labeled the five, I labeled the two, and then I made a number sentence. Five plus two equals seven, because five and two more, I'm gonna keep the big number in my head, I'm going to keep counting five, six, seven, then I'm gonna pop it into the number bond. And remember, the number bond can go in any direction, it doesn't matter, as long as it's part, part, whole, and the biggest number is in the circle that's all by itself. So in this case, it's five and two makes seven. And then, boys and girls, what I want you to start doing is making sure that you circle your answer. When you go to first grade, you, you're going to have to circle your answer, okay? And the problem is asking you, what is it asking you? It's asking you how many kittens are in the yard now? And the answer is seven kittens. And you actually have to write out that word. So if you didn't do it, I'd like you to do it now. And I'd like you to circle your answer just like I did, because that's what good problem solvers do. Okay, awesome boys and girls. And you are so, so good at this. That's why we're kind of moving up to some first grade skills now. Because you, for the most part, everyone can do this. So now we're gonna take it a step beyond and we're actually gonna write it out. All right, good job. Next, this is a simple task, but one that we need to practice because that's how we, we get better, we practice. I had you write the uppercase letters of the alphabet two times. Now we're gonna do the lowercase letters of the alphabet. Let's take a look. I wrote them out for you. All the letters of the alphabet, we are going to do it two times each. So if you want to pause the video right there, this is how you make all the lowercase letters of the alphabet. You're going to do it two times each. And you can send me a picture on the Remind app or email it to me of your lowercase letters two times each. Also, your problem solving task. You don't have to send me a picture, but you can if you want to. Okay? Good luck, boys and girls. I know you can do it.